بهم القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن والاه أما بعد my dear brothers and sisters, this is your friend Imam Madha Mahmoud with another episode of Quranic Gems. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala inspire unity and harmony in between us. My beloved brothers and sisters, just as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us the gift of salah to connect with Him and make it that sila in between us and Allah, that connection point. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted us the companionship of one another in order that we may gain comfort through the presence of one another. Alhamdulillah. This is once again another gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala highlights this gift in a very beautiful way in the Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first explains to us the importance of being Muslims and passing away in a state where we are subservient to the Almighty. يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا اتَّقُوا اللَّهَ حَقَّ تُقَاتِهِ وَلَا تَمُوتُنَّ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Thereafter Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes us reflect upon one of the blessings Islam gave us. وَاعْتَصِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا وَلَا تَفَرَّقُوا Hold fast, all of you, O believers, onto the rope of Allah and do not disunite. Do not... Disunite with one another. Allah says that look at the blessing that Islam granted you. The ability to be with one another on one path. When people explain Hablullah, the rope of Allah, holding fast onto it. Some people, they explain that this is the Quran. Others, they say it's the Sunnah. Others, they say it's various injunctions from the Quran the obligations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Others, they say it's to hold on to services that you do together in the community. Abdullah bin Mas'ud radiallahu anhu, the companion of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Hablullah al-jama'ah, that the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is community. Hold on to unity and community, and that is the rope of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You hold on to one another, you gain the companionship of one another, you teach one another, you learn from one another, inshallah you won't go astray. You will be as well as you could be. Allah then goes on to say that think about your reality. The blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you, just ponder upon it a little bit. If kuntum a'da'a, when you were knockerheads of one another, enemies of one another. This is of course in reference to our grandparents. They would fight with one another based on petty issues. Oh, your color is different, I am going to butcher you. Oh, you're from another uh, class of financial status, you're poor, you don't deserve to sit with us. Oh, you belong to such a clan or such a tribe, oh, you guys are wretched. Allah says, Kuntum a'da'a, you were enemies of one another. Fa'allafa bayna qulubikum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought about comfort in between your hearts through the Messenger Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his teachings. فَأَصْبَحْتُمْ بِنِعْمَتِهِ إِخْوَانَ And because of this, you became brothers and sisters for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But your situation was such that you were about to fall into the fire because of your misdeeds and your mistreatment with one another. فَأَنْقَذَكُمْ مِنْهَا Allah hence saved you from the fire by uniting your hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us again and again to understand, number one, the blessing of Allah upon us. And Allah also tells us to understand the blessing of one another. Get to recognize one another. O oh people, ya ayyuhan nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. We created you from a single pair of a male and a female. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلْ لِتَعَارَفُوا And we created you, and we made you into nations and tribes, so you may get to know one another. Not so you may get to fight with one another, argue with one another, 
and say, yeah, those people are Arabs and those people are Indians. Hey, don't, don't sit with, except with your own, as we see at times in the community dinners. You know, wherever you pass by and you meet somebody who says, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah, or perhaps anyone else, your job as a believer is to be kind to that person, regardless of if they look like you or they look like themselves. My beloved brothers and sisters, this is an important lesson that we learn from the Qur'an. Imagine, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put into the Qur'an everything that humanity needs to succeed. And among the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in, into the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to emphasize the fact that you need to be kind to one another and not nullify the rights of one another even for an inch. The Sahaba radiallahu anhum, they made this happen. And hence Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them who they are and made their faith a benchmark, a criteria of how we should be believers. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the ability to put differences aside. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us the importance of unity, of community. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all of us Jannatul Firdaus without any reckoning. وآخر دعوانا الحمد لله رب العالمين Until tomorrow والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جزاكم الله خيرا once again for watching If you've benefited from this video make sure you hit that like button share subscribe to our YouTube channel visit our website stay connected with us on social media your kindness and love are much appreciated remember us in your duas والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته